what I'm going to talk in this video is about the programming languages used in quantitative finance or financial engineering. There are quite a number of programming languages used. So the performance of these languages has to be good. So uh, all the languages used in computational finance or quantitative finance, whatever we call it, uh, should be fast and uh, must have computational libraries. You must have ready to use computational libraries uh, available for use. So what are these languages then? Well, the first one which has been in use for decades now in quantitative finance, be it quantitative trading or doing quantitative research in hedge funds or in different uh, kind of research departments within big banks is the C++. The older financial infrastructure is based on C++. Uh, people from physics, computer science, maths background, those who migrated from uh, in university research departments to uh, finance during the 80s and then 90s, they all used uh, C++. It was quite popular back then and these libraries they are still being used in the banks and somebody needs to maintain them and hence C++ is quite in demand in this industry. Uh, it's heavily used in qu quantitative trading actually. Uh, in fact, a must for low latency and HFT trading. Why? Because the performance is very good. C++ is quite fast compared to the other popular languages such as uh, Java or Python. Because of its high computational performance, C++ is preferred. In fact, if you come across the job descriptions for uh, the controls in different uh, different cities uh, with London, New York or Singapore, you name it, you will find that in most places uh, C++ must be there in the job description. So it's that popular. Then MATLAB. MATLAB is used for prototyping. Uh, it's very useful in order to uh, test your uh, algorithm very quickly. So for quick prototyping it's used but not used uh, in the production. Uh, people coming from academic background uh, usually have a lot of experience with MATLAB and they tend to bring that from that from the academic departments to the industry and tend to use MATLAB for uh, prototyping. However, these are not used for production level work. C++ is used for production level work, which is um, much faster. Uh, it's also used in hedge funds where they don't do much of high frequency trading. Hedge funds do a lot of research work on finance and there people uh, use MATLAB as well on C sharp. So it's used uh, when you need to develop web application for quantitative finance or quantitative research. Um, C sharp is wonderful actually when it comes to integrating databases and having a front end. Uh, many banks use C sharp to build systems um, to sort of implement algorithms. So also used and has gained popularity in the last uh, decade or so. Uh, and especially use in places where things are quite IT focused. You know, in many banks, you have IT team working along with the quant finance team and their C SARP is used and many people move from the quant team to the IT team to work there. So a lot of opportunities, especially in the contracting space, a lot of opportunities you can find uh, if you have expertise in Java C SHARP uh, and at the same time you understand quantity finance. So a lot of roles are there. Then Python. It's uh, the most popular programming language uh, currently uh, and has gained a lot of popularity among quantitative finance community uh, recently. Uh, but the problem with this language is that uh, it's not uh, very fast. That's the complaint. Uh, performance issue is a problem, hence not used in uh, trading related activities. But for research related activities, it is uh, a wonderful use. Uh, and good thing with Python is that you don't have to use MATLAB or uh, R for prototyping. You can use Python for quick prototyping and you can also use Python for implementing the algorithms in production. So you, you, you can do both. In fact, you can also build uh, very good uh, user interface, right, web applications 
using python so it's it gives end to end support uh, so you don't have to then switch between languages so that's one very wonderful thing about python and then it has very uh, the advantage of having so many machine learning libraries or ai libraries because in the recent times all the tech companies are engaged in developing uh, libraries such as tensorflow or keras you know such advanced uh, ml libraries uh, in python and such libraries are perhaps not as uh, you know developed in other programming languages and hence uh, the future of quantitative finance uh, could be you know using python perhaps more than c++ even although currently c++ is the leading language and hence funds are using a lot uh, banks are using less compared to say c++ but i think hedge funds uh, use python a lot these days uh, compared to say uh, 10 years 15 years back then r uh, statistical programming language uh, was uh, not very popular even 10 years back although it has been there from you know over two decades now um, it's used for quick prototyping again like matlab uh, but it has its disadvantages also that it's not a language which can be used in production although it can be used but not that very good for that purpose um, but it is heavily for statistical or regulatory quantitative analysis so places where quants uh, are working towards uh, compliance or regulations uh, you know the building models uh, for regulations uh, r is uh, very popular there and it is used in academic research environments so there are and uh, place departments within banks uh, and financial organizations where they do a lot of academic research be it uh, macroeconomic forecasting forecasting be it calculating value at risk in market risk department or even <coughs> pricing of some of the uh, instrument financial instrument um, or doing other kinds of re regulatory related work such as credit risk or counterparty credit risk uh, model building r is very popular there so if you have that skill it's also uh, nice to have skills then some of the proprietary languages now some of the investment banks have developed their own proprietary languages uh, morgan stanley or goldman sachs um, they have their own proprietary languages these languages are not uh, known to people who have not worked in these organizations a plus slang these two languages uh, frankly speaking i've never used these languages but i know that these languages are used uh, some in uh, in these you know top banks um, you probably nobody will expect you to know these languages because uh, these are proprietary and can only be used within within these organizations hence uh, not very popular in the industry and I think one thing is that uh, people in fact prefer using the more popular languages C++ Python compared to these um, proprietary languages within uh, within even Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs SQL it goes without saying SQL is used everywhere in the world uh, it's used in all places where you have to query databases uh, for long people have been keeping you know information in in Excel spreadsheets but uh, now uh, you know depart you know banks and all kinds of organizations are moving to databases so it goes without saying that you have to have a uh, good command over sql language although for algorithm development it's not used but especially for implementing algorithms uh, where when it comes to you know uh, extracting data in the back end you sql is a must and then the last one i'm going to talking about is the julia is is fairly new uh, as you probably know uh, it's a new entrant in the market um, some companies are experimenting with Julia. It's uh, not very popular uh, in the banks. Uh, not many banks or financial institutions are using Julia uh, for quantitative research related work. But the good thing with Julia is that it's faster than Python. Uh, many might disagree with this, but usually it is faster than Python and is easier to learn compared to C++ um, and easier to maintain as well. So it gives the best of both world uh, and hence julia is gaining popularity because it is a new language so there is not much of use but uh, it has a lot of potential for the future so these are some of the languages 
uh, used in the quantitative finance and uh, financial engineering area if you have questions please drop a message in the comment section thanks